Hey guys, this is Alexander from Shaska Tech. Uh, now I want to introduce you, want to share you with you one of our newest device launched by Sunlink's manufacturer, this ST5150, this Sunlink final device. Yeah. Uh, as we can see, these all other devices, and uh, it was launched from the Sunlink about one month ago, so it's the newest. And I share with you the newest information. I unpacked one package of this ST S1, uh, uh, ST5150, this model. It's in plain package, saving money for our customers. And uh, okay, this is the device body itself, and these are various accessories, including car charger, AC DC power adapter, and a lot of connectors. Yeah. Okay, let's pick up this device out from the packaging and uh, as we can see there is a piece of screen foil as gift. Yeah, and this is the CD, the E version, PDF version of the manual inside, nothing special, yeah. And uh, this is the device, let me look at it around. Uh, very small, very small, very compact design, yeah. And we can conveniently to get it and it sports a D combo. Input frequency 47 to 860 megahertz TT2C. Yeah, and input. And its battery 7.4 watts and uh, 2.6 uh, amps hour. And it sports power adapter DC 12 1 amps. Of course, if we Power it with higher capacity of power adapter. It is also supported. 12 watts, 1.5 amps, or 12 watts, 2 amps, something like this. Okay, let's look at the the panel menu scan info, and this is a you know a direction indicator. SD five one five zero. Okay, let's press the power on. To briefly check it, it's a classical open page of SR link. <coughs> sure, it connects nothing, so no program. And uh, for more, giving you more intuitive view, I decide to remove all the second case. Yes. In fact, it's a black colored device, right? Uh, this device supports this device supports DVBS, DVBS two, T, T two, and C, and it supports Mega two, four, H dot two six four, and H dot two six five. Yeah, it's a combined hand can uh handle held combo meter. With its compact design, lightweight, and some very, very intuitive interface. Uh, this device almost provides functions that are needed for installation and the verification of digital satellite TV service, antenna signal, and cable signal to residential homes or multi dwelling units. Yeah. The screen is 4.3 inch. LCD screen, and uh, we can see there exists some ports RF and and the DC out, HDMI, HDMI right, and here AV out, AV in, and LED. This light can be. Let me briefly show you. Okay, the light is on. The light is off. The DVBS2, there exists a lot of uh, satellite list. Of course, this is for Asia Pacific region, and we can change it, upgrade it to European region, American region, etc. Yeah, there exists a list of various satellites that can be available in Asia Pacific region. Okay, uh, let me brief access each option. DVB T2, right? 
Uh, in default country was preset as Germany and we can change it. UK, Italy, France, Spain, Netherlands, etc. Yeah. And uh, we can access DVBC. Let me have a brief check. And uh, again, once again, let me access the loop search. Yeah. The uses the lot of channels show on this page, right? And the next option is angle calculation, I suppose so. Yeah. Uh, longitude, my longitude, my latitude, etc. Yeah. And others. Let me see what is contained in others. Channel manager, satellite list, transponder list, motor setting, EPG. Uh, access maybe satellite list. Yes. Shows the list of the satellites that is pre-installed in this device. Sure, this this can be conveniently upgraded if if needed through the USB interface after obtaining new borrowing or firmware offered by Sunlink. Yeah. <coughs> Multimedia. Sure. Currently, I I I, I plug nothing, so no storage device is shown. And the last one is system setting, right? Uh, language, we can change it to various language, as we can say English, French, uh, German, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Netherlands, uh, Dutch, Russian, uh, Polish, and uh, I, I don't know what, what language it is, uh, this year will be Greek, I think, Danish, Arabic, I suppose, yeah, and uh, and Thailand's te language. Okay. Uh, currently, as we can see, it supports about ten different languages, and uh, this is the country name setting. In fact, it is not so important. Yeah. The most important point is regarding the the, the database itself that has already been installed. Yeah. This is just a name, and uh, here under the list, only several limited. Country's name have been shown here, not full. Okay, and uh, video resolution, aspect ratio, HDMI audio, time zone, system lock, PWR unit, back LED. Yeah, let me have a check back LED. Okay, okay, you can. Back LED has already been open. Now it's off. Okay. And ketone speaker, 12 volts, upgrade, upgrade, yes. Uh, when users need to upgrade your firmware, when your version of firmware comes, or when you change the device, for example, from Europe to America or to Australia, then data mates may need to be upgraded. And uh, we need to access this, this page, yeah, this page through the USB interface uh, to, to upgrade our database. Yeah, something like this. Factory reset volume and save channel, upgrade channel, etc. And let's, let's check the volume. It's the newest. As we can see, April 17, just uh, several days ago, that it was launched by the Sarlink original manufacturer. Uh, in fact, we always provide the newest volume of device to our customers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, since this is uh, this is a rather convenient handled uh, device with a relatively full uh, performance, DVBS, DVBS two, T T two, and DVBC, and supports at dot two six five and two six one. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's rather useful, and uh, from aspect of its cost, it's quite economic. Uh, in fact, previously there exists higher-ended uh, device, namely a classical volume of WS uh, six nine six nine eight zero. This model, I guess, some users may be familiar with this device. It also supports DVBS S two T T two C, but it's a higher-ended volume of device. Let's compare it. Okay, this is seven inch screen and this is just a 4.3 inch screen 
Of course, this is the high-ended and it supports various other more high-ended functions. But this is for enough for some economic use. Yeah, very useful and uh, it's the newest. Hope my brief introduction of this newest ST5150 model of Sunlink service can be useful to you. And thank you for your time to watch this watch this brief video. Thank you. Bye bye, Alexander from Shasky Tech.